This video is going to completely revolutionize what you thought was possible with Etsy print on demand dropshipping. So this is how I actually scaled my Etsy print on demand business, creating high quality designs, getting all the SEO, getting them ranked super quickly, all with AI, right? Now, the biggest challenge when I started all this was creating the designs, right? That was the most time consuming part and it took the most skill because I either had to myself get into a graphic designing software or get into Photoshop and actually create the designs, rework everything around. And that took a lot of my time because A, I wasn't skilled at it, but also it just takes a lot of time. Or I had to outsource it to a graphic designer, which got expensive very quickly when you're scaling a store and you're trying to upload a bunch of different designs so that you can grow it, right? But you don't need to do any of that anymore. Now, another time consuming part was actually putting in the key keywords, the SEO, right? All the product research, all of that good stuff. But again, you don't need to do any of that anymore. Okay. So this is the exact four step process that I use to create high quality designs with AI in about five minutes or so, probably less, but I'm going to go through it a little bit slower here to explain it to you. The first thing that you want to do obviously is find a hot selling design or design with promise. And then essentially we're going to recreate it with our own spin, just slightly different. Okay. Now you don't need to find a hot selling design. If you're into graphic design, if you're into, if you're like a creative person and you want to go the route of like just creating designs yourself, that's totally cool. You can still utilize this to your advantage to do it a lot quicker, right? But for the majority of us, we're trying to make the most money as fast as possible, uploading high quality designs to Etsy for our print on demand business. And this is the best way that I've found, right? So first and foremost, like I said, you want to find a hot selling design. And there's many ways to actually go about doing that. The easiest one would just be to use a software like Everbee. So that's first and foremost. Let's assume assume that these two right here that I pulled up as examples are hot selling designs. They are not. They're just random ones that I pulled up from the homepage that got suggested to me. Well, let's assume that these were hot selling because I don't want to take you through a product research tutorial. I've already done those. The first thing that we would do is just save this image, right? So we're just going to save this really fast and we're going to take it into Dolly here and recreate it, right? So it did a pretty good job of recreating this design. So all we essentially did was take a snippet of growing a tiny human right here and tell it to recreate it and make the design better within Dolly, right? And you can see it did a pretty good job. This one had a spelling mistake again, but this one's pretty good. Growing a tiny human in different lettering right there. The M's a little off, but we're just gonna, for the sake of this tutorial, not create it again. If we wanted to re-roll it, we would just say like redo that and it would re-come up with another set of designs for us. And then we could pick from that, right? But this one's minimal. So we're just gonna roll with this as an example for this tutorial, right? So the next thing that you'd wanna do is download the actual image right here. But the issue is to actually upload it into Printful or Printify, whichever software you decide to go with, that's a print on demand company that will handle all the logistics, all the printing on the actual product, whether it's a t shirt, a coffee mug, or whatever. To actually upload that design there, you need it to be in a transparent PNG format, right? And so this was the next biggest hurdle because you actually had to manually go in yourself and cut it out. Or what you had to do is you had to pay somebody to do it for you. And while that's not that expensive, it does add up fast as you increase your designs to scale your store, right? but you don't have to do that anymore either. This right here is a software called Vectorizer. It's incredible. Essentially what it does to keep it short is it takes all the colors in the actual image that you give it, separates them, and then allows you to hide certain colors, essentially turning it into a transparent PNG image if you use it correctly, right? So the first thing that we wanna do to be able to use this Vectorizer now is we're gonna go back into our downloads, grab that design that it just created us because if we just give it this uploaded t-shirt, it's gonna keep these colors part of the design that we don't really want. So I'm just going to take a snippet image of this. Oftentimes it'll give you like the straight design and it'll be a lot easier to copy, but no big deal here. We'll just take a snippet image of the design. There we go. And now we upload this into Vectorizer and you'll see that it'll start to map out the different colors. And this is an easy design because it's pretty much just black and white with like maybe a little bit of gray in there. But even with colored designs, it makes it super easy because it does the same exact thing for you. Essentially just hiding the background color. So it pretty much keeps all the other colors intact, turning it into a transparent PNG, right? So the easiest way to do that would be to just either hide one of the colors that's the background. So you could click this one and hide the white, although there are different shades of white and gray in here. So that makes it a little bit complicated. So the easiest way to do it is just to scroll all the way down to either a black and white, or in this case, one of the ones where the white is definitive and that's the one that you're gonna wanna hide, right? So I'm just gonna take it right to the black and white image because this is pretty much a black and white image already. And then you'll notice that there's two colors over here and you could just hide the white by unclicking it and it will then hide hide the white and bam, you now have a transparent PNG that you can put on anything, right? So you can just download it. So 
switch this to PNG and download it. And there it goes, right? And now you can see the difference. This image right here is what we started with. We took this as a hot selling design off Etsy. We then used Dolly to recreate the image for us and it then generated as this very similar, but better in my opinion, with a lot more contrast and a lot more design, but essentially the same thing. So we can still use that SEO, improve upon the design, improve upon the SEO and turn it into a better image entirely in a better product, right? And then what we did is we used the vectorizer to take the background out of this and turn it into a transparent PNG image that we can then take into Printful and upload into anything pretty much, right? So I like Printful better than Printify. You can use Printify or Printful and these companies make it super easy to actually put these designs on anything. They'll put them on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, leggings, shoes, you name it, a cup, a mug, it doesn't matter, right? So let me take you through another example really fast just to show you how easy this actually is. So let's grab one more shirt from Etsy here, take a picture of this shirt and then we'll take it into Dolly and we'll say recreate this design for a t-shirt but make it better and let Dolly go to work and there you go it recreated us a similar design but better it messed up the actual text on this one so we're just going to use this one but again if we didn't like these we wanted to recreate them essentially what we could do is just tell it to redo them and it would create new designs that we can then use so the next thing that we're going to do like I said is download the image that we liked fueled by caffeine and chaos I think it's a pretty solid design sometimes you'd often pay a graphic designer to you know five ten bucks to create this design for you and so now you don't have to because Dolly can do it you also don't need to actually tell it to recreate or remake other better designs you can just give it an idea if you wanted to you could say like hey i'm trying to come up with a wwe fan art t-shirt for my etsy store give me 10 different examples of designs that i could create and it would spit you out 10 different examples in text and then you would tell it okay make number one or okay make one through ten for me and send them to me and it would do that right so there's really a lot of functionality with this but i'm just showing you one example of how you could technically use it to recreate hot selling designs that we know are proven on Etsy already, right? This is probably the best way to use it in my opinion, although there are a bunch. So we have that actual image now. Now essentially what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to take a snippet of this for the sake of saving your time. I'm not gonna take the best snippet of it, but we'll just take the majority of it, save it in here. And now what we do is we take it into Vectorizer again, right? We upload an image into Vectorizer. This is another black and white one. So you're not getting an example of it seeing with colors, but it does the same thing with colors. Just again, if you run into an issue where it's not taking all the colors or there's a bunch of similar colors just go one up the chain or a few up the chain to where there's less colors that it actually is detecting and it kind of puts them in buckets so if it's like a pink and a red and an orange it might make all of those red and then that makes it really easy to kind of hide certain colors and make the design transparent as a png so for this example even though it's just kind of black and white with gray in between you can see all the different shades here of black and gray all the way leading up to white right so if we wanted to simplify this a little bit we might go up to like this one where there's only a few different colors or if we really really wanted to simplify it we could just turn it black and white with a little bit of gray so for the sake of this video and not playing around too much that's what I'll do just to show you an example but once you play around with a few designs here and there you'll get much better at this it's a lot easier than you think right so in this case the background of this image would be black right because then it would turn it into a white text transparent PNG that we could put on anything that isn't white right so you could put it on black you could put it on red you could put it on blue and that's what we're essentially trying to do with print on demand where we're putting it on different things right so we're just gonna uncheck check the black and you'll see as it removes the black from that image there and turns it into a transparent PNG that's just white text and you can't really see it that well here but I will actually upload it to show you into Printful to show you the next step here in the process one the first and most important thing is to recreate the design and make it better right that's what we're doing we're going after proven designs and making them better but we don't just want to stop there we actually want to improve upon the listing in general right so we want to improve on the title the description right the SEO in that we want to improve upon the tags and maybe even potentially the price point to steal a bunch of their sales and ultimately outrank them as we compete and get more sales and that snowball effect starts to occur right so I'm going to use this t-shirt as an example just the normal guild and tee there are a bunch as you can see on Printful or Printify if you just scroll down so you'll see here if we start to upload the design let's actually select all the colors first it does limit you on how many colors you can actually have we wouldn't want to in this case because we're uploading a white design upload it to a white background or even really a gray one but you could do all the other colors that it essentially let you to give you as many potential variations for the customer to choose from if you want it right see now it's telling us we we've exceeded so we'll uncheck a few of these and bam there we go we have all the sizes from small to 5x all these specific colors that we checked now let's upload a design in here upload the new file in this case we'd upload this transparent caffeine to chaos or this transparent growing a tiny human one so let's do this one growing a tiny human one just to show you an example of this 
this. This one's an actual black one. So since we're actually going to do that, let's uncheck black and we'll check this one. Check these dark colors off. And then we'll apply this. And you'll see what the transparent looks like against the red t-shirt here, right? Now, as we continue, you can change what the actual stock photo on the listing is. And then they can see a bunch of different ones. But you basically just want to upload the transparent PNG image. And then you can start improving the design, right? So you can use some of the cool mockups that they give you here. Or you can just use a white t-shirt background. Believe it or not, I've still split tested this. And I see everybody else recommending to use some of the really cool like additional mock-ups that they give you in these softwares or even order the product yourself and create your own mock-ups and I'm sure that that can work for some people but in my experience split testing both of them I found that just the normal white background on a t-shirt tends to work better for me so that's what I'm going to do here now in this case I'm going to make this a white shirt is going to be like the main image on the listing and then they're going to be able to scroll through all the other color variations but because this is a black design I'm going to want to put it on a white background so we're just going to star the white one on the right here and then this is going going to be the main image we'll have the ability to scroll through so now we continue and here's where you're going to improve on the title the description and the actual tags in the design right so this is the last basic step to improve so to recap we used dolly to create a hot selling design that we already know is doing well on etsy right then we used vectorizer to take the design that it gave us and turn it into a transparent png image instantly we didn't have to pay anybody to create the design or turn it into a transparent png and now we need to improve on the seo so the first prompt that i'm going to give it to improve on the title title and the description is I'm putting this design on a t-shirt for my Etsy print on demand store. Please create me a great title and description that I can use that will communicate this is awesome and they should buy it, but also full of SEO and good keywords to help my listing rank in Etsy search higher, right? So I'm going to paste that in there and then we're going to actually attach the design in here so it knows what design we're referring to, right? So growing a tiny human, we put the design in there and then we'll see what it comes back and it's going to create us a great title and a great description that's full of SEO and chock full of keywords that are going to help us rank higher that also reads well. And we didn't have to come up with that, right? Because it doesn't really take that much to write out a title and description or write out 15 keywords or whatever it is, 12 keywords for Etsy SEO on one listing, right? It's not that big of a deal. But the thing is, when you're scaling up and you're doing this with a bunch of listings, if it's like a dozen or so, or even a hundred or more, that's pretty time consuming when all that adds up. And so you don't really need to do that because A, the AI, ChatGPT will do it for you. And B, it's going to do a better job than you could have anyway. So it's a no brainer to use it. And you'll see here, it came up with the title, Maternity Blossom Tea, Growing a Tiny Human Floral Pregnancy Announcement Shirt. So we're going to put that in the title here. And now we're going to space down and we're going to use the description that it gave us right here and paste that into the description. And I'm going to keep all this stuff here as like the bullet points to let them know the certain specs of this shirt, because that is important. Okay. So for the tags, I'm going to give this a different prompt and it's going to be, can you give me 13 tags in comma format for this that would help my Etsy SEO to get more views and visibility to make more sales. Make sure that each tag that you give me is under 15 characters long because on Etsy, it has to be under 15 characters long. And then we're going to paste that in there. It's already going to know what specific listing we're talking about because we already just created that. And there we go. And now we just put those in there and it came up with pretty good tags. So prego shirt, baby reveal, mom to be, chic bump wear, pregnancy top, new mom gift, baby on board, maternity tea, pretty solid. All right. And we continue. And the next is just the price where you set up how you want your margins to be. I typically just go with like a blanket across the board, but this is how you use AI to create hot selling t-shirt designs or mug designs or whatever for Etsy print on demand drop shipping. It is no longer time consuming. It is no longer expensive. All of these softwares that I covered have removed the barrier to entry for you and made it so much easier. Hope it helps.